Nation, it's Adrian. Welcome to our very first episode of 2015. Well, let's begin. Last year we saw many wrestlers come and try to make a name for themselves in Kobe Pro. An example of this was Cody Hall, who debuted during All or Nothing 2014. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody! Oh, Cody out. He said he wanted to be the man to take it. What do 
Waste Rock overhead slam, almost a variation of the background driver. Cut ropes, cut right, come on. Almost a variation of the background driver from the front. I'm surprised Aiken got up that quickly. Aiken does not look happy at all. Cody into the rear waist lock when he can come from. Got it cinched in tight. Aiken goes to the rope to make the escape. And fires in a back elbow. Not the rookie not looking. Falls it up with the right hand to the head. Make it two. Third time's the charm. And now he's got him reeling. They got him. And eats a knee lift from Cody Hall. Cody scoops him up. I, well, no, I didn't see that coming. Actually, I thought maybe he was going for a fall away. Change of his father. Exactly. He's going to an electric chair. Ah! Oh! Ocean Cyclone Suplex from Cody Hall. Wow. I can't believe he kicked out of that. Incredible Ocean Cyclone Suplex, but a very arrogant pin from this young man. Yeah, but I mean, to be honest, I didn't even know Timbrook was going to kick out of that. Overhand chop in the corner. Working those ribs with some vicious knees. I would come up with Steve Roller close around in the corner. Yeah, he can see the field. Green Street. Make it to Shades of the late great Bam Bam Terry Gordy. There you see it. He, now he's starting to work over the knee as a big guy. Goes right to work on that knee. That's what you got to do. You got to take this monster off his feet. He's a huge man. You got to take your pins out. Oh. Dropping all his weight on the quad and the knee, stretching that joint. That's all it took. That one mistake from the rookie and the veteran, Aiken Pembroke. Is all over. Big right hand to the head of Cody Hall. Cody! Cody! And a rake to the face. Another big right hand. Cody ate all that one. And down he goes. Pipro came for the cover. One, two. Only two. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the newest up and coming star of Cover Pro Wrestling. Your Saturday Night Delight, Brown Sugar Jones. I ain't always been the nicest guy, so I always depend on my friends, where the holds bonding, to have my back. Now they're located in Martinsburg, West Virginia, at 306 West Stephen Street. You can also give them a ring there on the phone, 304 267 5888. They offer affordable financing. Tell them Brown Sugar sent you. Choking him with the boot, veteran move. I didn't see the choke with the boot. I saw um, Scott Hall over there sporting the uh, Falcons. And I did not see a choke whatsoever. Double rake to the eyes on Cody Hall. And these fans are starting to get behind Cody. Get ready to Where is Aiken going? Aiken going high risk. Just to two. Well, you gotta hand it to the rookie and the presence of mind. I don't know that this is a good idea. This does make him come up no favor. I don't know that I would get that close to the bad guy. Are you serious? Oh, two-tick flip to the face! 
of Aiken Pembroke, and now he's Goozled. I think Pembroke's gonna fly. Choke slam. It's Big over. driving choke slam. And Cody Cole says, that's it, it's over. Yelling and making to get up. I think I would stay down. He got up and he looks like he's gonna go right back down. Well. We've seen this move many a time. We have indeed. Made famous by the fan in the corner. Razor's edge power bomb. Count to a hundred. It's over. You're absolutely right, Donnie. Razor's Edge, he's done. That Razor's Edge has been and will always be a finisher. Landing, I can tell you, landing on the back of your head and all those vertebrae just shoots right down your spine and all those nerves seize up. The pain you go through, you can't kick out if you want to. I've been on the rece receiving end of that move. Not only do you rack to rack your head, you feel like your spine is sliding forward from the impact. Whether you call it the razor's edge, the outsider's edge, or a crucifix powerbomb, it is lights out. Last week, Louis G. Rich battled Bazooka Joe to see who would end 2014 as the Kobe Pro Heavyweight Champion. Let's take a look at what happened in our Kobe Pro Rewind. Nothing fancy but a factor. Yeah, it's possible. There's, the damage has been done. There could be a dislocation and tear. Joe seriously favoring that arm. Louis G. is completely focusing on that right arm of and that arm's just hanging there like dead weight. So block, make it two. There's the dive and shoulder block and go. Here's the reset. Follow us up on that hard candy cannon. Swing and neck breaker from Bazooka Joe. Well, Joe trying to get the crowd fired up. He's going for that reverse door in the lights again. But yeah. he cuts him off one more time. And drives him back into the turnbuckle. Driving shoulder block from Lewis G. Misses the clothesline. Joey's got him up. I don't think he's... He... I think he got the eyes of the ref. The ref's blind, he can't see. He got him right in the eye. Joe in the head with it. That's it, Joe's done. Only two! Only two, Donnie! I, I'm with Lewis, I can't believe it, somehow. Lewis is stunned. He doesn't know what to do to finish off Joe. Man, a stick through the heart would do just fine about now. We've been here before. It's the last time the roles were reversed. I don't know about LGR, it might have taken a little too much time on that. Oh! That's it. That is it, Chris. And I told you what LGR was going to do. He's in a given mood, and he gave Bazooka Joe plenty of pain. With that shoulder, it's like he gave Joe and Ace best friends, and we know it. LGRs gave them some holiday time together. They're going to be sleeping in hospital beds in the same room, I'm sure. Nobody can discount how good Louis G. Rich is. He did his homework. He knew that shoulder was injured, and he went to work on it. He may be the underdog in some ways against a man that size, 
Never count out the champ, Lewis Q. Rich. By hook or by crook, he will win. You're right. You said it before. What I don't necessarily agree with is the underdog statement because, you know, people want to think. And that was the whole revolution. They want to think LGR is an underdog. Let them keep thinking it because time and time again, LGR proves you come in underestimating and he's going to make you pay. And after the show was over, we were able to talk with Bazooka Joe. Let's hear what he said. Oh, man, come on, come on, come on. No, no, Joe, come Joe, on. Maybe later, maybe later. Out, Joe, Joe, come on, I show this out. Dude, we'll talk about it later. Well, what's up? Incredible match with Lewis G. Rich. You just came up this much short. How do you feel? What, what's the next step for How Bazooka do I feel? Joe? I mean, yeah, I, you've seen what happened out there. I mean, I, got, I hate to admit it, I got beat. I mean, uh, Hey, he capitalized on an injury, all right? He got me early in the match, worked the arm, he knows he used the clothesline, and, and he capitalized on it, and I lost. I mean, I, what, what do you want? What do you want from me, man? What's the next step for Bazooka Joe? You know, I don't know. I, I, look, I gotta take, I gotta get this taken care of. I probably have to take a couple months off. I can feel it popped out. So, let me just get through this, and I gotta get refocused, man. I, if you don't see me for a little while, then, Look, I just got to take care of some stuff, all right? It's time for a break. We'll be right back. Lewis G. Rich here. As a former Covey Pro Tag Team Champion, there's nothing I won't do to get my tag title back which sometimes means things that are outside of the law. But I never worry because I know I can always call Eric S. Black, attorney at law. That's Eric S. Black, attorney at law. 304-258-2931. So remember, when you see the blue, call the black. Hello, Covey Pro Nation. This is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler? a referee, a ring announcer, if you want to get in on the action. Come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Cuppy Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Hello again, you are watching Kobe Pro Wrestling. Last year we were visited by Hall of Famer Mickey James. Let's take a look. I've been working on my music, I've been wrestling, I've been being me and I've been wrestling. A little bit of everything. What have you been doing besides wearing some really awesome gloves? Yeah, these are awesome gloves, aren't they? You know, there's a rumor going around, and I just want to see if we can confirm this or not, that you're pregnant. It's my personal life, but sure, yes, I'm pregnant. Thank you. So, first child. All right, first child. So there's going to be another change in the world. All right, well, I don't know. What's, what's next for Mickey James? Where are you going next? What do you want to do next? I don't really know. Like this, obviously, has taken me on a whole nother course. Um, it's a little unexpected, but a very wonderful and beautiful course in my life, and so I'm really excited about it. So who's, who's to say what's next? Except for a lot of that, <laughs> and you know, some baby rocking, with cradle pushing, stuff like that. So we're gonna see Mickey James back on the ring anytime soon? I don't know. I don't know. You are. Yeah, because I don't know. I mean, I don't know either, especially after having the baby. I don't really think you're going to make a Divas calendar again, do you? Mickey James, the washed up ex Diva. Oh, and look, you're bringing in a, a child to this world. Like, there really wouldn't be. But out of the kindness of my heart, 
I baked you a little pie, because I know you like to eat for two, right? I mean, since I couldn't get you what I really wanted, which was a coat meter for an abortion. So why don't you take this? Right, I know you're hungry. Come on, don't be scared. And that led to a title match between the current champion at the time, Amber Rodriguez, and the longest reigning women's champion, Jessie Bell. That's the way to go. Showing off a little for the crowd. 
She may be showing off now, but we, we know she's done her homework for this match. I think they enjoyed that show. Now, right back here with the boost in the midsection, right back to work on that left arm. Hammerlock with the knee driven into the shoulder blades. Make it two. And there's a third. Really focusing on the elbow joint and shoulder. Yeah, she's, like you said, you know, southern discomfort. She's not able to, you know, a variation of a gory bond. If she's not able to get that locked in without the use of both arms. We've seen this before. We have indeed. It's time for a little bump and grind. Right into the scissor stomp. There's nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. I think Jesse would disagree with you at the moment. Probably so, but nevertheless, to the hook of the leg. Only two, not enough yet. But Jesse's left arm is obviously injured right back into that hammer lock. As our champ continues to work over the arm. Focusing her attack on that elbow and shoulder. And there's a knee drop to the elbow, as we said. Make it two. And now they're punching away at the elbow. Now you can you can almost see the swelling starting right now. She's done serious damage to that arm. Amber had an arm bar flag, but Jesse fights up. I spoke too soon. Hair takedown from Amber Rodriguez. What hair takedown? That was a snapback. Amber going right back to work on that arm. You see, Jesse tried to reach through to prevent that from happening. Amber having that arm torqued around her own leg, she was able to drive her knee into the shoulder while working on the elbow. Into a quick pin, both legs up. Only two. You know the old cliche about living to fight another day? Double clothesline from Amber and Jesse. Living to fight another day may apply in some situations, but Jesse Bell, the Southern Spitfire, she doesn't give up that quick or that easily. But the damage that has been done to the arm, that arm has been worked over, and she's still got to be out there on the road. She's still got to make a living. Bringing that boot in the second, cuts off, fires back with a shot to the jaw. Amber misses and takes a chop to the face. And a big neck takedown. Snapmare takeover. With a drive back kick to the jaw and a double leg drop. Only two. Just the two count. Jesse seems to be able to. Until now, mount and some offense. Jesse fell ball for the suplex. Snap suplex with a float over. She's still got her locked in tight. Make it two. Oh, this could be Trace Amigos. Shades of Eddie Guerrero. Third time the truck. Float over into the pin, hooks the leg. Only two. What's that Amber's got on her hand? Nothing. It looks like brass nuts to me. You best, you need glasses. Schoolboy takedown. All of the way to put their shoulders. There you go. Still the winner, and still coming in from women's champion. This is an example of when bad meets evil. The experience of Jesse Bell lost out to the opportunism of Amber Rodriguez. What Amber wants, Amber gets. And she's gonna return back to New York with the women's title. But for how long? How long can this streak go? I'm fixing to. 
It's time for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Fantastic. Go ahead and let's make that up. Fox's Pizza, 304-258-8000. They do deliver, 304-258-8000. Oh my, oh my goodness. Let's open that up. Stay here and open that up with me. Oh, that's definitely a pizza for Big John Green. Fox's Pizza is a proud sponsor of Covey Pro Wrestling and a major ticket outlet. As new talent was making their way to Kobe Pro, someone earned his way back into the roster and demonstrated at the contract coalition match that he has the heart of a warrior. Pandemonium from the start, Chris. Well, this is going to be a heck of a match to call them from the get-go. How do you keep control of all this action? How do you keep count on everything that's going on in this match? It, it looks like... Well, Mustafa Aziz was going for the ladder already, but he's cut off by Gavin Jackson. That's one we thought. Chris Wilde and Napalm Bob are already rolling on top of the ladder. Nyla takes them both out. Now, there's a woman to watch in this match. Nyla Rose Nyla's going card. up. He's a wild card. Nobody expects it. Cut off by the count. I spoke too soon. Hangman's neck breaker off the ladder from Napalm Bomb. And now Chris Wilde trying to go up? It's a smart maneuver. Everybody's down or fighting on the outside. He doesn't have any, anything to wait except for Nyla Rose. And now Nyla's going after him. Rams his head right into that unforgiving st And again! Rings his belt twice. And a big kiss oh. from Chris Wilde. He's almost got the briefcase. But almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. There was Napalm Bomb. And if you're watching on the outside, CEO is giving countless stuff. More than he wants. Now it's broke up by Brown Sugar. But from the start, the Prince of Persia. Mustafa Aziz has been going to work on Gavin Jackson. They started this last month and they haven't finished it off yet. They've not, and it's not gonna finish for a long time. I mean, you've got the Persian Immortal itself. Meanwhile, Wild off the ropes. Great save with that double axe handle, and Wild's firing up. Shades of the Ultimate Warrior. This match is a memorial of the warrior, and he certainly seems to be channeling that spirit. Uh, trading chops over on CEO. Big rights and left back and forth between Count Lestat and Brown Tucker Jones on the outside. And Nyla Rose gets booted down by Napalm Bomb. Chris Wall's heading back up the ladder again. Oh, he just took the ladder right in the ribs. Smart maneuver from Napalm Bomb. If you can cut that man out, cut his win, cut him out of the ring, get yourself alone. That's the best way to win in a ladder match. You're right, Chris. And I don't think he's going to be able to climb that ladder anymore. I think, seriously, with a shot like that, those ribs have to be broken. But look out here. We've got CEO holding Brown Sugar. While well, Brown Sugar just got worked over by Nyla Rose. They Nyla missed the high five. She doesn't miss. The hard right. Huge power bomb from Napalm Bomb in the ring while Nyla's giving it to CEO on the outside. Napalm Bomb's doing the smart thing. Try to get everybody on the ring. He's biting. Him. He's biting her across the face. Mustafa Aziz biting Nyla Rose across the face. Meanwhile, Chris Wilde has made his back, way back into the ring with Napalm Bomb. And there's a brawl right here in front of us. Now CEO, I, it's hard to keep up with Chris. I mean, we've got Chris Wilde and Napalm Bomb tearing it up in the ring. Everybody else is spilled out to the outside. Richie, I mean, all I can do is just watch at this point. But Chris Wilde pulled the low bridge on Napalm Bomb. Smart move, get him out of the way. Yeah, but with the rib shot he took, like you said, that's gonna affect 
That's going to affect the way he breathes. How's he going to get up the ladder? He's alone. This is his best chance. There's still plenty of bodies on the outside. That's the key word. They're on the outside. You have to be alone to get to that one. Get to that briefcase. It's your only way to win. Well, it has taken far too much time. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I don't think Chris is going for the briefcase. I think Chris is oh, going to fly. No. Oh! The, up the ladder and over the top to the floor on everybody. I don't think Chris got all that he wanted to, but he got certainly enough to take down most everybody in this match. Like bowling pins, they're all pretty much down. I think only Brown Sugar and CEO escaped unharmed. And Brown Sugar Jones just ate the other ladder. Amazingly, Chris is back into the ring. I wish this still have bodies down. Napalm Bomb is still down and Countless Dots slowly getting up. Napalm Bomb's holding that right shoulder. The immortal himself, the Prince of Pain, Mustafa Aziz, now inside the ring and he's, oh no, here we go. Oh Lord, what Huge a... Huge power bomb from Mustafa Aziz. And Mustafa, he's repositioning the ladder. He may be going for it. No, no, he's not. He doesn't even care about the briefcase. Oh! You want to talk about damage to the ribs, right back to those ribs of Chris Wilde. Sit out smash for Mustafa Aiz. Meanwhile... Now he's eyeing it. Meanwhile, Gavin Jackson did a tope suicide off the apron onto everybody. And he just ended up eating that ring post. Napalm Bomb's taking something. He's choking the life out of Gavin right now. Meanwhile, look, there's Mustafa's. Mustafa's making his way up the ladder. He doesn't have anything interfering with him at the moment. Well, spoke uh, too soon. He's yep. got two men interfering with him now. Well, Brown Sugar Jones and Countless Dot. We've seen them work together and against each other. As they'll work together to get the upper hand and then turn the minute they do. There's They're, no friends in this situation. You said that right. Momentary allies at best. We saw that earlier with CEO and Nyla Rose. But CEO now working over young Gavin Jackson, and there was a rake of the eyes. Meanwhile, back in the ring, implant DDT. Beautifully done by Count Lestat. Lestat's eye in the briefcase. Oh, low blow. Nyla's got him up. Big Samoan drop from Nyla Rose. And a big elbow drop off the apron onto the floor by Gavin Jackson almost ended up right in the fan's lap. Pandemonium. Wow! Mustafa Aziz with that beautiful hooking clothesline of his. We've seen it before. He gets a lot of impact out of that right hand. And especially when he hits it on Gavin Jackson, it's an on it. Oh! Hip toss onto the ladder in the corner. Now the Prince of Pain is rolling. He is using that ladder against everybody. Make it two on CEO. He just, oh, he just slapped the taste right out of Count's mouth. I think we might have seen a thing go flying. We certainly just saw a body go flying into that ladder a third time in a row. Well, two men are standing now, and that's Mustafa. Well, now three, but the only reason Gavin's standing is they've been holding him up. <laughs> You're right. Oh, this, this is not good. Tandem. Wow. shot face first into the ladder on Gavin Jackson. And it seems like Mustafa and Napalm Bomb are trying to work together, and he's. Irish whip and a big knee. Well, Nyla Rose, all impact. Remember what I said about temporary allies? Temporary allies is right. You gotta look. And again, oh, did you see her head snap? If it wasn't the impact in the front of the face, it was the impact to the back of her head from that turnbuckle. You're right. The back of her head came. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. <laughs> if Nautilus not out, she's got to be close. That may be a concussion right there. The back of her head just whipped off the turnbuckle. Meanwhile, Gavin Jackson fighting with Brown Sugar Jones on the outside. But look here, there seems to be a Dyson trouble brewing in the ring. You said it before, temporary alliances. Nyla Rose is up. Takes them both out. Kelp going high risk. The native beast just dropped Napalm Bomb and Mustafa Aziz. Is the Kelp going to fly? Kelp goes for a frog splash. I don't think he got all of it. Nyla's up. She's up and she's got a ladder. Swan Swanton Bob one to the side of the ribs. Wow. Who would have thought, Chris, we can't even keep up what's, with what's going on out there. No CEO screaming in Nyla's face. But everybody else is down and out. And another low blow from Nyla Rose. CEO's going to be singing soprano for the rest of the night. Any plans he had for less later on in the night are ruined. Nyla Rose trying to scale the ladder now. The only one standing aside of her is Brown Sugar Jones. She's just kicking Brown Sugar away. He's trying to... Oh! I think just, she just caught her chin on the bottom rung of that ladder. Brown Sugar Jones just swept the legs out from the front of Nyla and down she went. <laughs> Brown Sugar's heading up. But Napalm Bomb and Mustafa Aziz are both up. What a flying forearm. And the ladder falls all the way down back on Nyla Rose. Nyla buried under the ladder. Chris Wilde, I don't even know what happened to him. He's laid out. Hi, I'm Cubby Pro Superstar and the voice of reason, Dash and Donnie Diablo. When I tell you you should make the trip down to 979 North Frederick Avenue in Gaithersburg to King Volkswagen Kia, you know I'm telling you the truth. At King VW, you'll be treated right, from our state-of-the-art service department to our knowledgeable sales staff. King Volkswagen's commitment to service makes car buying fun again, and you won't have to wrestle us for the best prices and service all around. Hello, Covey Pro Nation. This is Big John Green. Hey, have you ever thought about becoming a professional wrestler, a referee, a ring announcer, if you want to get in on the action? Come on down. Give us a call at 304-298-2192 or 240-421-1938. Join us at our Covey Pro Dojo for training for you to become a professional. We're located right behind the Earth Dog Cafe on 522 in beautiful downtown Berkeley Springs. Stotts over in front of that wacko with the hat. Chris has been through a lot already this evening. Chris already had to fight this evening just to get to this point. He's definitely earned his place in this match. Well, you big Yakuza kick from Napalm Bomb on Mustafa. You know what? You, if you're the other competitors, this is what you want to see the two biggest bulls of the woods going at it right now. You want to see Napalm Bomb and Mustafa as Aziz. What a super kick to the jaw, Mustafa Aziz. And he went down hard. And eats the Yakuza kick as well. He didn't go all the way down until that Yakuza kick. We had Persian. The Persians, of course, known for their immortal warriors. Well, if you're quoting the movie, you have to say at this point, this is Sparta. This is indeed Sparta. And that kick from Napalm Bomb just sent Mustafa Aziz into the pit. Now look, they're both going up. Napalm Bomb's going up. If this match wasn't dangerous enough, we've got two ladders set up and two big men climbing them. I don't like the looks of this at all. Napalm had his fingers on the button. Oh! Cutter from the top! Oh my god! He broke him in half. 
humongous cutter from Chris Wilde off the top of the ladder. There is no way any man. And with the damage that man's taking, look at him firing up. I'm still in shock, Chris. There's no way any man could get up for that. And there's carnage all around the ring. There may be nobody left to stop him. He's all alone. Nyla's trying to get in there, as is Aziz. But too little, too late. Ladies and gentlemen. He got it. I can't believe it. Defying the odds. After the damage that man took in his introductory match to Kobe Pro, and he made it through this ladder match and won it with that beautiful cutter off the top of the ladder. Oh my God. Have you seen anybody take a, give a cutter like that off the ladder? Absolutely not. That's something you're only going to see right here on Covey Pro. An insane cutter off the ladder. And Napalm Bomb, everyone took so much damage in this match, Chris. It's a But one thing has to be said about Chris Wilde tonight. He may be known as the heart killer, but tonight that man showed the heart of a warrior. I don't think I could have said it any better. Well, Nation, this is it for me. I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check us out on KobePro.com. Have everybody a good year.